Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So these are nine makeup habits that mature women should know about. You ready? Let's get this beauty started. I'm going to be sharing with you these nine makeup habits that I have been doing for years. I've been teaching my clients that sit in my makeup chair and I thought it would be beneficial. You might learn something new. Maybe it could be a refresher for you. This video is in partnership with Wing Wellness. I will get to that in a moment so you'll know why I actually took off a week. I didn't upload for a week. I haven't addressed it. So our first tip is mascara. So this is something that I showed over on HSN when I was on the beauty report. I felt like it was very important. It was one of my tips and hacks that I have been doing for years. It really helps me. So when you have your new mascara, it's a new bottle, you will put the date with a brother's label on the actual bottle. So you know in three months from this date, you will throw it out. That is the best way to maintain your mascara. You don't wanna have mascara that is old, that is dry, that is clumpy. This is something you put on your eyes every day. You don't wanna get pink eye. You don't wanna have any kind of issues with other things that you can get around the eye area. So that's what I did. You know, I, it sounds very simple and kind of trivial in a way, but I have to tell you, I don't know about you, <laughs> but I would literally be like, oh, I don't need the label. It's June 22nd, I'll remember. So I'll open it and then like two weeks goes by and I'm like, well, wait, was it May or was it June? What date was it? Why can't I remember that? So that's why I have it on the side of the mascara because you can do it any way you want, but that's just really been something that's helped me. My mascara is always fresh, always looks beautiful. I never get frustrated and say, oh no, I don't have one. So I always buy two at a time and I have that backup when I'm able to throw out after three months. My second tip is going to be an eye primer. Now, you know that I talk about my eye primer all the time because I've been using it now. I think it's been 16 years. This is something that I found I couldn't do makeup professionally on my client without having an eye primer because I wanted to neutralize out that eye. And I always had the vision of how I wanted my makeup to look at the end. I could never get that if I wasn't using an eye primer. So this is something that I really relied on heavily when I was doing makeup because not so much as a perfectionist, but there's a certain vision that I, I see for each customer or client. And they might have a tear sheet that they brought in of a celebrity or of a model or whoever they're wanting to look like. And to achieve that, I wanted to have the right base. I had to neutralize out the eye first for the eyeshadow to look true, to look like the color and also to last throughout the evening or out the day or the event or what have you. So the eye primer is so important. So if you're not using an eye primer, this is my number one product in my line, you are doing your makeup, your makeup look a very big disservice because you're not setting yourself up properly. This is the way to go. Eye primer first, neutralize out the eye. This is how I start every single makeup tutorial that I do. Every single makeup tutorial on Fierce Aging. Start neutralizing the eye from the lash line up to the brow bone. Then once you have neutralized out the eyelid, you go with your eyeshadow and it is a dramatic difference. This is one of my best tips. My third tip is a face primer. Now this is really important. It's not a moisturizer. You want to moisturize the skin, set up your skin properly with your skincare, then go into your face primer. You want to have that smoothing effect. You want your makeup to grip the skin. So this is something that I have been really diligent about because I want to have a really nice smooth canvas and I deal with a little bit of texture in this area here, my T-zone, what have you. I've noticed a lot more going on in my skin as you have also. I've had these bizarre blemishes that have popped up and I can only contribute that to, yes, hormones, but really the stress level that I've been under. And I didn't upload for one week. It was really random. It was just, it wasn't planned. I felt like I was coming down with something on like a Sunday and it really ruined my whole entire week, but it's because I've been pushing myself to the max. I have been working on a project, as you know, I've been up till 2 a.m. because I'm on different time zones and I knew my body would eventually probably catch up with me and I wasn't putting my health first. So this is where I go back to my roots with my winged wellness that I have showed you for the last two years, my sleep aid, 
my mood booster during the day, and my relaxation gummies that I take. So they have combined their three most popular products that I use too. I actually don't have my sleepies because I'm out of them. My husband is obsessed also. But basically we have a holy grail bundle. So we have the sleepy gummies with the 10 milligrams of CBD. We have the happiness that has the primrose oil in it, that this is really a nice mood stabilizer. And then I have the relaxation that I take throughout the day or depending on the week or what have you, another 10 milligrams of the CBD. So they bundled this together as their holy grail, which I love because these are the three products that I have on rotation all the time. $110 value, you get it for 83, and then you can save another 20% with Nicole 20. So if you're looking to have better sleep, I mean, this is how I really found this company and knew it worked because I have the Aura Ring, which is this, the smart sleep ring that I've had for two years. I have the third generation, I think now. And I monitor every morning to look at the app to see what my sleep score was, what my readiness score was. I'm always going for that double crown of basically hitting my goals and knowing that I've had enough restorative sleep. I have my readiness score is up and I see a difference when I take my sleepies. That's when I really saw the difference when I could compare my charts. And that's really why I've stuck with it for the last two years. So I'm really excited to see that they have their most popular products in a bundle. This is a great starter kit for you. If you are having mood issues, if you are having hormonal issues, if you're having sleep issues, if you're not able to relax, this is a great bundle to try out and rotate them. Just like I do my hair care and my skincare, I rotate these products depending on how I'm feeling. And I'm always doing the sleepies, obviously. I can't keep them in my cupboard. I literally can't. So this is something that I would encourage you to do. I had to put my health first now. Like I keep preaching this and then I was pushing myself too hard. Now I am getting back to normal. I feel like my skin has healed itself and my skin's becoming back to being smoother. So now when I do my face primer, I am, <laughs> I am back to normal. My fourth tip is lining your eyes, but it's almost like you're doing an invisible line. So when I say that, not doing a tight line, lining the eyes with my dark chocolate, that's my color of choice, or I have charcoal. I don't have black in my line because I feel like it's too harsh for mature women. I have plum and I have navy. So this is where I teach you that you go in between the lashes. You want to thicken up the lash line and you want to really define the eye, but you don't want to add weight to the eye. So this is really a very, very important technique. If you're feeling like as you're aging, your eyeliner is getting heavier, it's not looking the same, your eyes changing shape. If you concentrate on just getting in between the lashes, thickening up the line and really defining the eye, you're going to see a very, very big difference with how your eyes look. They're going to look more open. They're going to look not so heavy and like you have a ton of makeup on. My fifth tip is choosing the right BB cream for your skin. That could also be a CC cream, but something that's light that allows the skin to show through that you're not covering up tons. This will make you feel really, really good when you are a mature woman because you aren't covering the skin with heavy, heavy makeup. You want your skin to look fresh. You want it to look revived. You want it to look natural. This is the way you can do that. With a BB cream, sometimes, well, I did a whole video on BB cream versus CC cream. So I'll link that video here so you can understand what the difference is. Choose what's right for your skin, what you're trying to deal with, whether it is color correction, whether you just want a beauty balm that's going to really just make your skin look gorgeous. But this is a game changer. If you're using a heavy foundation and you're a mature woman and you're finding that it's just too much, it's not working anymore, switch to a BB cream and see the difference. My sixth tip is color correctors. I am very passionate about color correctors for mature women. So I have three different color correctors and there are many on the market. So you can choose what you want to choose. But for me, I have just peachy, which basically will cancel out grays, blues. I use it underneath my eyes, sometimes as a concealer because it's just the right amount that I need. Or we have no redness that will cancel out redness on the skin, which I've been dealing a lot with, with these blemishes that I couldn't get rid of. Or we have extreme cancel for extreme darkness, more of a medium to tan toned skin that needs to neutralize out first, then put on the concealer. This is hands down a game changer for mature skin. Color correcting first, then using your concealer of choice, then using your BB cream or what have you. Or sometimes you can just get away with using your color corrector and a concealer and you can spot treat all over the face. But this is, if you are frustrated, that you have dark circles underneath the eyes, then you put on your concealer and it looks muddy, it looks more gray, it's making it worse. You have to use a color corrector first. Set yourself up 
properly and then put on your concealer. So you are giving yourself, you're giving your, your skin that chance because your concealer is not working as hard, right? It's going over already a neutralized skin. It's not trying to neutralize and cover and do all of these things when a concealer is really just to conceal. It's not to color correct. You'll see this on my, my channels and my fierce aging all the time using a color corrector. My seventh tip is using an invisible lip liner. This has been very popular in my line of using a lip liner. Ours is called Crystal Clear. And if you have problems with your lipstick, your lip gloss feathering, you wanna use an invisible lip liner. It's going to give a border to your lips prior to putting on your lipstick. So if you wanna wear a little bit of a darker color, you can, when you use an invisible lip liner. You just will line your lip like you normally do, creates that border, and then you put on your lipstick. Another tip that I showed you with an invisible lip liner, since it's giving that border, you can, if you find that your foundation or your BB cream or what have you settles into your fine lines, you can first, when there's nothing on your skin, you can just fill these in to give yourself a little bit more of that protection and that border to not be able to settle into those fine lines in this area here. Just a little tip, you can try to see if it works with your skin, but that's an added bonus of being able to use an invisible lip liner. My eighth tip is lash extensions for mature women. This is a complete game changer. You know, with the last two videos that I did, I showed two different brands. I'm using Drugstore, which is the Falscara, or going into Lashify. Below these videos, a lot of my audience members have really talked about other different lash extension companies that they use or lash brands that they use. Now, I'm wearing strip lashes today. I wanted to show you what the difference was. I personally find them to be very, they look heavy to me. And this is because it's a strip lash, but these are my favorite ones from Ardell that I used all the time. They're Naked Lashes number 420. So I've been talking about these forever. And I thought that they were like so natural. They're called Naked Lashes, but they have an invisible band too. And I feel like just turned so dark on me. And I feel like as a mature woman, putting lashes on top, like I don't want any more heaviness, right? I don't want that on top. I would rather go underneath with the lash extensions that I've showed. So easy to apply. They are so natural looking. They give you that instant boost, that instant confidence. You wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I look so much more awake and so much more rested. I just wanted you to see what it looked like. Do they look bad? No, but I feel like they're heavier. They add a lot of darkness and that's not what I want. When I apply the lash extensions underneath, and I'll link the video here, it is so much like airy and bright and beautiful and inexpensive for the amount of power in the eyes that you get. I just love it. So lash extensions, are amazing, a DIY, inexpensive for mature women. And my last tip is to add color to the face. This is a complete game changer. The best habit that mature women can have is adding color to the face. And that's just not with lipstick or what have you. Add cheek color. That is going to make you look really healthy. Cream blushes are amazing. I show them all the time. I just came out with three different palettes for my powder blushes that are giving you that silky, still very luminous kind of radiant look because they're not flat on the skin. They almost look like they're coming from within underneath your foundation or BB cream. Just absolutely beautiful. I'm wearing the Ballerina Rose today. Very, very soft, but you want to add color. So my mother was the best when she came on with in 2019 to Fierce Aging. Now she was very reluctant to come on and she was such a great sport. And I always look back at that video and think like it was so raw and so real, but she felt, she shared with us that she felt very beige. She felt like she looked in the mirror and she saw just one color and the color was just beige and made her feel very un unhappy. And she wasn't adding color to her face. The second you put blush on her, the second you put on a lip, a lip gloss or a lipstick, it totally comes alive. Even with doing that dark chocolate or a plum liner for her, brings her face forward. So if you are feeling the same way as my mother and you feel like you have no color and you just feel like you, you know, you're like, well, I'm just so disappointed or it just keeps looking like I'm getting, you know, like transparent, put color into your face, warm yourself up. I just came out with my creme brulee, which is for mature women. It's a bronzer. It's a soft bronzer. It can add just enough 
of that healthy glow to the skin where you're not overdoing it. This is exactly why I made these because I wanted you to feel comfortable using products like a bronzer that I know a lot of older women shy away from because it's too much or it's too streaky or it looks fake. This doesn't and that's why I created that and I spent a lot of time doing this. So I hope you enjoy those tips. I hope you enjoy trying to incorporate on a more of a stress-free relaxation, mood boosting with Winged Wellness, their Holy Grail bundle. Such a great opportunity to take apart those three products and be able to use them into your daily routine or your weekly routine. But these tips are really a refresher, something new maybe you've learned. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have other tips that you're doing that you want me to know about and my audience, we learned so much in the comments below, please leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends if you find it to be valuable. And ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.